I've had this one for a little bit and I've been waiting for a good opportunity to open it up, but I am really excited for this, even though that this is the third version of this figure to get released. I think that Black Hole has finally perfected the Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, so this is the figure that's been released twice before that comes with multiple different head sculpts. So you can actually do Super Saiyan Wendy, Super Saiyan 2, Ultra Instinct, and also a base Goku. So you can actually use this to recreate a ton of different Gokus. But anyways, we'll open this thing up in a second and you can see what's all in here. But we'll take a peek at the box art first. So of course you got Mastered UI there. This, this box artwork is... Phenomenal. I think this might be one of my all-time favorites. It's really plain, simple, yet stunning. So that Ultra Instinct Goku in the front looks really, really good. You can have some of the comics on the side, which looks really cool. Just some script on the side. Again, really plain on the back, but looks really, really cool. Black Hole Toys. We'll get this thing opened up and take a peek. Pulling this thing out of the box. Man. It looks really, really, really good when you first open it up here. Um, so it's, it's going to be a lot like the original version, um, except it's got a ton of coloring on here. So they actually add a ton of airbrushing. Um, the coloring looks fantastic. So it's got a ton of detail, um, some battle damage there. The Kamehameha, they changed from blue to yellow, which I don't know how I really feel about that. And then the uh, the windy hair and the SS2 hair are now translucent and kind of an opaque yellowish color, which looks good. They made the Ultra Instinct hair quite a bit darker. Um, it looks like the base hair is pretty much the same. They might've made it a little bit more glossy, uh, but they added a ton of battle damage to this thing. So we'll open it up further here. This is actually really nice. Kind of holds everything really firmly in place compared to some of the other ones out there. Here we go. Here's what everything looks like all opened up there. So look at that battle damage on the face plates. Ton of detail there. An absolute ton of detail. That looks really, really good. Let's take a peek at the other head here. Look at the eye decals. The eye decals have a ton, a ton of detail in them. That looks stunning. Here's the SS2 head. Or just normal Super Saiyan. I've heard a lot of argument over it. The base head, so that one still has the Ultra Instinct eyes, so of course you can still use it for Ultra Instinct. So that is one change from the original. Then the Ultra Instinct is quite a bit darker. So the, the shading on the hands is actually really nice too, so you kind of have some darker spots on the knuckle area, and then the fingers are quite a bit lighter, which is actually a pretty nice touch. And then more Ultra Instinct down here. The actual Goku itself, Okay, so tons of shading. They changed the belt. So the belt is actually all blue now. Um, instead of having the uh, the ripped blue, light blue on top with the orange underneath. Gi is quite a bit darker and the boots are quite a bit darker too. So I do have the original actually in the back here. Well, this is the first version that came out and then the second version had that kind of yellowish the pale yellow accessories so if you look at this thing there are quite a few differences right off the bat so this guy does have a uh super saiyan goku face sculpt on it it's the original awakening goku so look at how much darker it is it's a ton darker um, this one has some really good shading. You kind of lose the shading in how dark this one is. And then if you look at the belt, there's not as much variation there. It's just that solid blue. I think this one looks quite a bit better in terms of the belt. And then the boots. So the boots are a little bit lighter on this one. I actually like the way that this one looks. Kind of gives you more of a variety. So it might be worth a kit bash even take a peek at the back it still of course has that classic one knee joint is not colored in terms of articulation let's check it out Ooh, this one is super stiff now i'm a huge fan especially demonical fit and black hole toys in particular typically produce really stiff figures 
and I like that. Um, I feel like it gives us quite better ability to pose figures. Still have head swivel, you can still move around the neck like normal. Still have a little bit of an ab crunch, nothing crazy. Ooh, and even the legs are super stiff. You even have, look at that, you even have shading on the knee there. I don't feel like it's very accurate, but it still looks pretty good. Okay, pretty good range of motion there. This one might be almost too stiff. In terms of the boots, let's take a peek at the boots. So you still have that 360 because it's on a peg down there. Of course, the normal toes, wow, those are really stiff. You can almost barely get that off. And same thing, you have the 360 because it's on that peg, so you can swivel the hands if you really want to as well. So overall, I mean, wow, this is a pretty stunning figure. We'll take a peek at the other face plates here too. Starting off with the base. Just look at the amount of detail in that blood and, and the battle damage on the face sculpt. I mean, the hair is pretty much the same, nothing fancy, but this looks really, really good. We'll go SS2. Wow, that looks phenomenal. This is definitely get some good use out of it. I'm a fan of the transparent. I know a lot of people out there don't like the transparent heads. I do, I'm a huge fan of them. Just depends on how they're done. These ones are just very unique. I don't know if I'm gonna display these because I don't particularly like it. It's kind of more opaque than transparent, but they do look really, really cool. I do have to say it's very unique. But again, just look at them on a detailing on those face plates. And then the other two here, again, the Ultra Instinct ones, they have a ton of detail in there. I'm not gonna put together the Kamehameha. It's the exact same thing. It's just yellow, kind of cool. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like the original better? Do you like the re-release? The shading is phenomenal. I really, really like it. I'm a fan of it. But let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys like this kind of content, definitely follow. I really like Demonicle Fit. If you haven't put that together, I really like Black Hole Toys. If you haven't put that together, and of course, we still review uh, some of the old school stuff. We're going to start getting into the Jack Specific, and I still do figure arts, of course, too. Thanks, guys. Freezer Freezer out.